All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke, and it's time for us to get our Loose Ends episode in. Whenever I do a Nuzlocke, I like to do an episode that covers everything that I didn't do during the course of the playthrough before I actually get to the, the ending stage. Uh, the ending stage would be us taking on the Elite Four. Now, uh, I said last episode that I need to come to Slateport City, and I was incorrect because I'm always wrong when it comes to this type of thing. Uh, I need to go to Marvel City. I need to go to Marvel City. There's a couple uh, routes that we didn't get encounters on. There's a couple routes we didn't get encounters on. And I had to take notes of those both in my Root Tracker app as well as uh, on my computer so I could, you know, have it visually be there for me to see in the course of me recording this. So let us head to Route 118. 118, we head west from here. Sorry, east from here. And we can make our way over here. And then very soon, very shortly, we'll be in a new route that we haven't even entered once. I actually mentioned it. I mentioned it when I was here uh, the first time we left Marvel City heading east. First time we left, we got to this crossroads, and I mentioned that I can either go north or I can go east. North it would be us continuing the playthrough and heading towards our next badge at the time. Let's see. How about if we put cute up front? Let's put cute up front. I feel like cute will deal the least amount of damage. Ugh, we're not even in the route yet. We're not even in the route yet. And it's a grow vial. I hate running into grow vials. Every single time we run into grow vial, we lose somebody. I wonder if that's an omen. I wonder if that's an omen. Whenever we run into a grow vial, we lose someone. That must be an omen. We head to this grass area here. This is Route 123. We have not been here yet. We have not been here, so let's see if we can get us an encounter here in Route 123. A green shark. That's really close. That's so close. Okay. So you might be asking yourself, or you might be asking me, Hey, chill, how come you have all these unevolved Pokemon that you've been using? How come you haven't evolved Leo? Well, items are randomized. Items are randomized, which means you don't get the normal items that you would get. Normally, we would have run into a Firestone by now, I believe. Um, looks like we might not get an encounter here at all. That's fine. Uh, what was I, what was I saying? Give me a second. Oh, uh, if, if you need a Firestone to evolve Vulpix, and normally you, you get a Firestone by now, or the opportunity for a Firestone by now, we haven't had one. One way we can get uh, a Firestone would be to find a red shard and take it to a certain person, and he'll give you a Firestone, or he'll make a Firestone from it. It looks like we won't get an encounter here. Unless we can get up in that grass there. And I believe actually what I need to do is go around the other way. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I need to come from this way and go back. Okay, that's fine. No problem. We can hit fly to Lily Cove and I'll finish explaining. Uh, so I've been, I've been actually hoping to run into a red shard over the course of this playthrough. Because Leo is nice how he is now. But he could be a lot stronger, and that would come with uh, receiving a Firestone or a Red Shard in exchange again. So, so I've been hoping for that. I've been hoping for that. Uh, between recording this episode and us going to the Elite Four, I'll try my best to grind and find one. I'm not going to catch any Pokemon, but uh, I'll, see if, I'll see if someone can learn Thief and then use that. Use and abuse that. There's nothing against the rules in that. What if that item over there, on the other side of that gentleman, what if that item there is a Firestone or a Red Shard? That would make my day, and also would mean that we went entirely too long with less power than we could have had. All right, can't go that way. Nobody knows Cut. I don't think anybody knows Cut. We haven't used Cut once this playthrough, I don't believe. All right. Okay. Let's get up out of here. Let's get up out of here. Uh, if we start from here and we go to the other side of the entrance to Mount Pyre, what we can do... Oh, wait. Route 23. We didn't have an encounter here. We did have an encounter here. Give me a second. No, we didn't have an encounter here on Route 122. All right. So what will we run into in the water? I remember we had the rappel up. Coughing. We'll run into a coughing here. Interesting. 
All right, let's see. I mean, we're going to kill it. We're going to kill it if we attack it. Ultra Ball. Hmm. 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 I don't think we can... I don't think we can hit this thing and not kill it, to be honest. We're poison, aren't we? Nope, took damage. Yep, we're poison. Yep, we're poison. All right, fine. Fine, you'll be all right for now, cute. You'll be all right. Let's see. I think I want to catch with a rock smash. Nope. Not a rock smash. We're already poisoned, coughing. Get it together. Get it together. Here you go. So we're not going to kill it. We're not going to kill it. All right. Here you go. Come on, cute. Come on, cute. Get it together. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No! No! Oh, cute held it. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> that grove out we ran into! That grove out we ran into was an omen! Oh my god! Oh my god! My heartbeat is, is, is. I can feel my chest pounding. Sweet baby Jesus! That could have been horrible! That could have been horrible! <laughs> Okay, okay, 122, nothing happened, nothing happened, we're moving on. <laughs> Let's see, since there's coffee here on the water, where my po where my repels go? My real repels. Uh, let's leave, st let's move leave stone, there we go. Okay, okay, I am stressed out today already, it's only seven minutes in and I am stressed out. We are now on Route 1, 2022, correct? Oh, we're still on 23. Oh, now we're on 23. We were on 22 before. Yeah, that's 22. Okay, so this is 123. We just gotta wait for the repel to wear off. Okay, there's grass here. Yeah, so I was thinking, uh, the part, the way I wanna go, go is uh, around Mount Pyre. Understandable. What's it, anything in these rocks? I'm trying to wait for this this uh repel to wear off before I run through anything. Oh, repel wore off. What we got? What we got? Seeking. We got seeking, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I guess we're gonna get a sinking on the table less this thing wants to explode too. Come on. Firepower weekend, fine by me. Here's a fly. Hold this fly for a spam lamb. Damn, damn, cute. All right, we'll get a seeking on the team. Come on. Damn, it escaped? Come on. Come on, Sea King. Let's give it a great ball. Maybe it likes great balls better. It likes great balls better, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> we got us a Sea King. Let's see. Let's add that bad girl in. This is Route 123. Seeking the goldfish Pokemon. In the autumn, Seeking males can be seen performing courtship dances in riverbeds to woo females. During this season, this Pokemon's body coloration is at its most beautiful. Understandable. Uh, give Seeking a nickname? Yes. Of course we will. Why wouldn't we? This is Sea Queen. Sea Queen the Seeking, ladies and gentlemen. Let me add Sea King here before I forget. This is already, this is already been one of those days. Okay, 
Uh, what other places can we go? We need to do things. Let's see. Cute. Uh, would you be so kind as to take us? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, back to Lily Cove once again. Take us back to Lily Cove, please. Here's an area that we haven't been. I typically don't really come here a lot because it's a Nuzlocke. Uh, it being a Nuzlocke makes it hard to do this next activity. But of course, after a little bit of compulsive healing, we're going to go ahead and uh, head to the next bit, which is the Safari Zone. The Safari Zone typically doesn't have much for you when you're doing a Nuzlocke. You only get one encounter. You only get your first encounter. So let's see. I like a little dance I did. A little, a little. There we go. All right. Let's see, we gotta run past these lovely trainers. I think the Safari Zone in this generation is a little different. I'm sorry, not in this generation, in this game is a little different. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one where you can use one Pokemon. I, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I honestly don't come here a lot. Welcome to the Safari Zone. Is it your first time here? Yes. For the sake of today, yes. When you enter the Safari Zone, you start with 30 Safari Balls for catching Pokemon. The safari game is over when you run out of safari balls or when you've walked 500 steps. Come in and enjoy the safari zone. Okay, so I must be mixing that up with another generation. Let's see. I mean, Cute's got the best shot. But I want to take Mask for security. Mask and body. Welcome to the safari zone. All you can catch for just $500. Would you like to play a safari game? Sure. I'll be $500, please. Here are your safari balls. We'll let you know when your game is over. So until then, enjoy yourself, please. Off you go on your wild excursion. All right. Y'all hear that? That's real safari music. All right. So I know one of the things you could do is put um, poker blocks in that contraption to the left. You could put poker blocks in there. And... It makes it easier to catch Pokemon. It will attract different kinds of Pokemon. We're not too worried about that. Remember, this is randomized. Who we got? Who we got? Polyrath. I was wondering when a, a former member of Team Snaps and Klaus would show up. It's Polyrath, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get closer to him. And he ran. Well, there we go. There we go. He's, he's, not, he's not our Spiral Tin, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell me, please. I need you to move the hell out of my way. I have no reason to be here now. Would you like to exit the safari zone right now? Yes. Thank you. That was that was a, a great way to spend five hundred dollars. That was a great way to spend five hundred dollars. Let's see, safari zone on here. Yeah, safari zone. Encounter lost. There we go. Okay, what else do we have to do? We made it to Pacific Log Town. Uh. There is an encounter that we can get there. We can do a little bit of fishing there. Not much I love fishing. All right, let's see. Is that our held item? I'm not sorry. No, yeah, old rod is our selected item. So let's see if we can do a little bit of fishing. Nothing. All right, maybe they want me to fish from here. Oh, there we go. What we got? What we got? Grimer. All the poison Pokemon today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Grimer on our screen. All right, Mask. You're not going to do anything. We're not going to attack it. Mask, there's no way. There's no way in hell it would survive anything from cute. Mask is going to kill it. Mask is going to kill it. Did this thing break out in one? Try it again, goddammit. Yeah, I expected as much. I expected as much. We got us a Grimer, ladies and gentlemen. Grimer is the sludge Pokemon. Grimer's sludgy and rubbery body can be forced through any opening, however small it may be. This Pokemon enters sewer pipes to drink filthy wastewater. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I guess that's good. That means he's he goes green. He helps he helps the environment. So you know we're gonna call this Grimer. Green the Grimer. Alright, speaking of cities that we haven't gotten encounters in. 
Uh, we haven't gotten anything here in Lily Cove, I believe. And then there's also Sutopolis City. So let's see. Let's head to Sutopolis first. I know for a fact we haven't gotten anything in Sutopolis. The only times we've been there was for the gym leader battle and to save the entire world. So let's see what we can let's see what we can see here in Sutopolis City. Say that say that five times fast. <laughs> All right, we're here already. Performing for you. Pichu! Pichu is a great Pokemon to have on the team. Let's catch a Pichu. What is with Pokemon breaking out? What's with the level fives, level sixes breaking out on the first roll? We got a Pichu. We got us a Pichu. I actually like Pichu. It's one of my one of my favorites. Pichu is the tiny mouse Pokemon. Pichu charges itself with electricity more easily on days with thunderclouds or when the air is very dry. You can hear the crackling of static electricity coming off this Pokemon. Pichu. Pichu, what do we get a caller? Let's name her Static. This is Static the Pichu. All right. What other cities have we not gotten encounters for? I see that we haven't gotten anything in Duford Town. But if I'm not mistaken, there's nothing to get in Duford Town. Let's see. Duford Town will be where we fought. Oh, no. Duford is... Which one's Duford? Duford Town. That's here? We didn't get anything at Duford Town? Well, guess where we're going, ladies and gentlemen? Across the world to Duford Town. All right. And the only place to catch something in Duford is, once again, the water. Whoops. Wrong button. All right. What we got? What we got? Don't play with me. Don't play with me, game. This is one of my favorite songs in the game. As calming as it is, calming and, and slow as it is, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? It seems as though we're going to have to step our rods up. Hmm. Take this good rod. You got it. Wherever there's water, try your luck at fishing. Oh, we will. We will. No, nothing now. Now we got nothing. After all that, now we got nothing. I hate this fishing mini game. I hate this fishing mini game. Okay, we're just gonna not count it. We don't get an encounter for here in Duford Town. That that's that's what that is. We just don't get an encounter. Where else we got? Well, is Lava Ridge Town? Is there anything in Lava Ridge Town? I don't believe so. I don't believe there's the opportunity for an encounter in Lava Ridge Town. But I do know for a fact that we can get one in Slateport. Is there anywhere for fishing in Slateport City? Let's check that out. Let's check that out together. But I know I know we can get one over in what's that place? Lily Cove? Oh no, we got Lily Cove, didn't we? I think it's on this map already. Or, or is everything everything's already taken out? Alright, so there's the water here in Slateport. Let's do a little bit of fishing here. <laughs> Nothing so far. I would imagine because all the rocks are barricading it, there wouldn't be too much. 
But let's see what we got. Gloom. Gloom is dope. All right, Mass. I believe this one could take a hit. Good work. And if we put it to sleep, then if we put it to sleep. Come on, Mass. Come on, Mass. Get it together. There we go. And then what we can do is the very simple toss of the Ultra Ball. Did it. We got us a gloom, ladies and gentlemen. We got a gloom here in Slateport City. Gloom is the weed Pokemon. Gloom releases a foul fragrance from the pistol in its flower. When faced with danger, the stench worsens. If this Pokemon is feeling calm and secure, it does not release its usual stinky aroma. Good to know. Good to know. What are we going to call this gloom? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stinky. Stinky the gloom. All right. Anywhere else? Are there? Is there anywhere else that we haven't got an encounter that I don't have planned? Let's see. I suppose we could fly to Lava Ridge and see. Then there's Pedalburg. We could do Fishy and Pedalburg, I believe. Lava Ridge and Pedalburg, that's it. And then there's a few, there's one more place that we have to visit. Actually, two more places we have to visit. Let's fly to Lava Ridge. I'm pretty sure there's nowhere to get an encounter here in Lava Ridge. I don't think we could go fishing in that water. I don't think we would want to, to be honest. Lava Ridge, yeah, Lava Ridge is a very small city. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I mean, I can give it a shot. I can give it a shot. Let's see. Yep, no fishing here. All right, so there's nothing here in Lava Ridge for us, and that's fine. I didn't think so. And then the last one I said was Petalburg. Let's head to Petalburg. I believe there's somewhere to do some fishing there. I think there's a small man-made lake let's see yes right up here let's see if there's anything back here we won't do any fishing let's surf yeah a master ball we got a master ball is there any encounter that we've missed that I, I that I wish we would have had a master ball I guess we can save that for if we have a shiny encounter. Come on. All right, what we got? What we got? A Duskull. Duskull is cool. I like Duskull. I don't, I don't know if it's good or not, but I like Duskull. We can't hit this thing at all, can we? Fain attack, but that's probably going to kill it. Knowing Mass, the crit master that she is. Duskull, please stay in this Ultra Ball. Please stay in this Ultra Ball, fam. We got a Dust Skull. That's so cool. That's so cool. We got a Dust Skull. Uh, this is Petalburg. Dust Skull is the Requiem Pokemon. Dust Skull can pass through any wall, no matter how thick it may be. Once this Pokemon chooses a target, it will doggedly pursue the intended victim until the break of dawn. Interdasting. Duskull. Duskull. What are we going to call this Duskull? What are we going to call this Duskull? This is Shadow. Shadow the Duskull. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's all. I'm sorry. We're missing one encounter that I planned on today. Uh, we have one more place to go. I mentioned this twice. I actually referenced this encounter or this area twice. We're going to fly back to Duford Town. We're going to fly back to Duford. We probably should stock up on items, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we are gonna heal though, so give me a give me a hot second. All right. So as I mentioned, this area is easily accessible from Duford Town. What we're gonna do is a little bit of surfing. Of course, that means we're gonna throw on a super repel. I believe that should carry us all the way there. Who's up front? 
Mask, I'm going to get you out of the front for just a second. Actually, not just a second. You don't belong there. Tough goes back up front. I hope this isn't too much work on uh on Kippers. I hope it's not too too tough for him. All right, so there's an area here that we ran into twice, and neither times we had the proper things to to properly check out this area in whole. So that's why I saved it for today. This is the abandoned ship. Now I'm not sure if there's wild Pokemon here. There might be. Uh, we'll find out. Let's explore this ship. All right. So this abandoned ship has a child running around on the other side. That's dangerous. I'm calling what DCF. I'm calling DCF on them. Uh, let's head in this broken room right here. I'm sure there's things to find. Let's see. Oh, there's a man in here. Ships of this sort are rare, so I'm taking a look around. Hmm. There appear to be other cabins. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's more than one cabin on this ship. I don't know anybody who would add only one cabin to a ship. We got another twisted spoon. How many spoons need we? How many spoons need we? Alright. So let's see. If there are wild Pokemon here, we'll, we'll run into them now because our repel just wore off. Let's see. What's in this room? A dragon fang. Pretty cool. Dragon fang raises dragon type attacks? I feel like I should know that one. Yeah. It raises dragon type attacks. I thought it was something else that did that. Whatever. This is a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there's amazing treasures on board. Well, I'm down for treasures. That's all part of the adventure. Let's see if we can find us some amazing treasures. Yay, it's a ship! Come on, kid. Where are, you, where are your parents? Why don't your parents love you? <laughs> Why don't your parents love you? We got another paralyzation heal. A paral a paralysis. P -p paralysis heal. Aw, oh, shit. I didn't want to get into a battle. Whenever we go out to sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? I don't think you're out at sea. I think your ship has has run its course. You got a Haunter. You got a Haunter here. All right. How about you hold this um, Iron Tail, Haunter? There you go. Come on. Next up, Dunsparce. Uh, Metal Claw? Metal Claw, anybody? You here for a Metal Claw? Metal Claw, table for Metal Claw, table for two. Whoops, I'm sunk. You're damn right. Let's let's see what's in this room. Oh, it's a spot for diving. We're coming back to that. We're definitely coming back for that. Those were the two items, I'm sorry, two abilities that we needed to get here. Surf and then dive. That's why I've held it off for so long. Nothing in here. Good. I'm getting crazy just being aboard this ship. It's not even moving, but yeah, you're a uh, you're a uh, what's it called? Damn, what's the term? When you just get sick, you you always diagnose yourself as sick. The door is locked. Storage is painting on the door. All right, we'll have to come back some other time. Ah, oh, damn it! I was just saying that kid probably wants to battle. What's fu so funny about having my inner tube aboard the ship? The fact that the ship's not even moving. Hypochondriac is the term I was thinking of. The one that always diagnoses themselves as sick. Always. Hoot hoot. Yeah, hoot hoot's about to get the work work. Here you go. Hold this iron tail. Hold this iron tail for us, fam. He stopped me for that. He stopped me for his hoot hoot. Well, you overwhelmed me. I don't want to talk to you. Got my face. Got my face. Oh, it's a double battle here? And then an item. A max potion. Huh. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. I don't think we're going to get into that double battle. Not just yet, at least. Let's see if we can go this way. And then head up here. Who is this? What are you doing here? I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. All right. Is this a model of the ship? We got a storage key. 
That's wonderful because we need the storage key to get into the room labeled storage. Let's head that way. Let's see. Uh, it was this room here. All right. We got TM28. That's pretty dope. If I'm not mistaken, that's normally... I want to say shockwave, dig, or earthquake. One of those three. What is it today? It's dig. We got two digs now. Dope. Nothing in this room. Nothing in the storage room but three chairs. That's all y'all got? All right. Let's see about this, this area here where we can dive underwater. Where we can dive, dive, dive. All right. What's in here? Let's go above the water. Let's go above the water. All right. Can't get in here. That's room one. That's room two. Oh, we can go in this one. Ah, there was something shining over here. Y'all saw that? It's room one key. We got a room one key. Okay. I was just going to say, what's this? It's a deep sea tooth. Okay. Okay, that that grabbed my eye first, and then the the twinkle in the corner got my attention. All right, let's head to room one. Oh, there's two in here. Let's grab this TM35. We'll find out what that is in a second. And I think this we got the room four key. And let's see. Bright and shiny, but it's just trash. Oh, that was that was there to distract us. Oh, that's not cool. I guess we picked the right one first. All right, what's TM? Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. All right, that was the room four key. I'm guessing this is room three. Which means this is four. It's room six. Okay, so that means this is five. Oh, we can go in five. Oh, that's not cool at all. This is blocked off, so we got to come in through room six. And then we got to remember where everything is. Listen, memory is not my thing. Memory is not my thing. has never been my thing. Doors open. Let's go in. Oh, there's three. There's one in the trash. Let's not go that way first. This is just trash. This is just trash. Okay. So we needed the trash one. It's the room six key. Who threw away the room six key? Or did it just happen to get that way when the ship was abandoned? All right, so let's see. Let's open this door first. Okay, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to use item finder techniques in this room here. We got a big mushroom. We got plenty of mushrooms. Plenty of mushrooms. That's empty. That's empty. All right, here we go. Here we go. Item finder, ahoy. That's just trash. It's the same one. Let's see. I believe there was two on this side. That's just trash. Come on. Come on. Item finder, ahoy. That's trash. And then there's two on the other side. Oh, 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 we got the room two key. Was it two? Oh, two wasn't open. Okay. So is this other one just trash? Let's see. Yeah, it's just trash. All right. So room two should be the last room we need to go in. It's the last room of this puzzle. Oh, that's right. We gotta, we gotta use the key. We got the scanner. This is the scanner that the scientist said that Captain Stern was looking for. Uh, I guess we could take this. Do we take this to that scientist, or do we take this to Captain Stern ourselves? I'm not entirely sure which is the right answer. Not entirely sure. Let's talk to this man first. Let's take it to the man. And then if he doesn't do anything with it, if he's not astounded by the fact that we found it, 
Uh, then we can take it to Captain Stern ourselves. Back through the water. All right. And then, let's see. We went through this way, right? Or did we go upstairs? I think we went upstairs. We came through here. There was this couple. So then where do we go from here? Oh, we went up here. Got it. Got it. Oh, that's a scanner. Listen, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? We got to take it to Captain Stern ourselves. I want to investigate the ship a little more. All right, fam. Have fun. Knock yourself out. Before we take it to Stern, we'll, we'll fight this, this, this battle couple. Let's see. Who wants? Let's put Leo up front. Tough and Leo can go to work together. Let's fight this battle couple. Oh, we're looking for some treasure, but we only found a treasure a trainer. All right, Lois. If this man's name is Clark, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty funny. It's Lois and Hal. Okay, okay. Wrong wrong fictional reference. All right, y'all boys. Here we go. Uh, Iron Tail towards uh, Lumise and Leo. If you will be so kind as to unleash the flamethrower on Ledian. Tough is the fastest out of everyone here. Inner Daster. And that should do it. That should do it, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Team Snaps and Claps still showing out on our day off. Oh, wow, you're strong. 1728 for the money. All right. Let's see. From here, we needed to go and visit. Can we do it here? Can we fly from here? Nope. We gotta. We actually have to leave the entire, the entirety of this place. How wonderful. From here, what we're going to do is take the thing to Stern. And we have one more person to meet before we run through. Before we head towards the finale, I should say. Let's see. All right, so from here, we're going to fly to Slateport and then meet up with Captain Stern and deliver the scanner. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Captain Stern up here. He should be here, right? Yeah. Oh, chill. That item you have, that's a scanner. That would sure help us on our explorations. Chill, would you trade your scanner for something? Like a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale that I have? We picked up a tooth, so let's grab the scale. So you'll trade it for my deep sea scale? Yes. We got the deep sea scale. Those are both items that help clam pearl evolve. I don't believe we have a clam pearl. I don't believe we do. We can I'll always go back and check eventually. Okay, so this is the very last thing before we head uh, towards the Elite Four. We have to, of course, make it through Victory Road, but this will be the very last thing, I believe. We want to fly to Fall Arbor Town. There's a person that we had the opportunity to meet, and I realized that I, I messed up. Uh, at the end of one session, I said, oh, dang, didn't meet this person. Let's meet her. At the beginning of the next session, I said, oh, dang, didn't meet this person. Let's meet her at the end of this session. I just, I just walked it all off. Let's meet up with this person here. This is actually one of my favorite people in the game. Oh, hello. You are? Okay, your name's Chill. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon Store system I developed. Uh, excuse me. You didn't develop it. Bill developed it. You just helped it to be better. How I arrived at the, that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great that you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me in my home. My house is on Route 114. I like her. She wears bandanas. You know how I feel about bandanas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. This is actually a very long episode. I hope you guys enjoy when I do long episodes like this. Uh, that's going to do it for... Let me see. That's going to do it for this episode of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Next episode, we will be making our way through Victory Road. And then after that, all that's left is taking on the Elite Four. I'll make some changes to the team if I, if I feel it's necessary. Excuse me. If we run into something that I feel would help the team a lot better than someone we have now, then I'll make changes as necessary. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. 
that's that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you get notified whenever a video posts to the channel or whenever I do something special like a stream there's always special streams going on with this channel thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. we're almost there we're almost at the end this game is wild